Yeah, yeah, what's good, Planet Earth? It's your man, Tony Madness, back with another installment of Forgotten Gems, the series where we unearth and resurrect great music that may have been lost over the course of time, but definitely deserves a revisit. I'm here broadcasting from wonderful Orlando, Florida, where you could ball out on drink night with about $20 and two for once, you heard? And still have money left over for Denny's. Yo, before we get started, once again, thank you to each and every one of you that subscribed to the channel, left comments, just even check the videos. I really appreciate that. I do it for y'all. I love the music, and if you know anyone else that might love the music, shoot them a link. It just may be what they're looking for. Today's forgotten gem is coming straight out of Hayward, California, from the East Bay gangster himself. This album is a full-on West Coast gangster blueprint. We got Spice One, America's Nightmare. This is one of, and I mean this, the most influential gangster rap albums of all time. I know my Bay heads already know what it is. I have always held a special place in my heart for the Bay Area. It is such a unique place musically and culturally. I also lived there for five years. It's its own world out there and the people are just special and the musical atmosphere is remarkable. The funk and even Black Panther militants influence is very apparent on almost every release that comes from the Bay. Plus the camaraderie between artists in that area is unmatched anywhere else in the United States. You'll hear almost everyone trading verses on almost everyone else's album. I wish more places were like that. I remember this album dropped the day before my birthday in 1994 and my mother let me buy it as a gift at Specs. Yo, big ups to my mom letting me buy an album with a bloody KKK and a Tech 9 on the cover. America's Nightmare released on Jive Records in 1994 and actually peaked at number two on Billboard's top R&B and hip hop albums. Well deserved. Coming out of Hayward, Spice One is a legend in the Bay. Having been discovered by Too Short and part of the Dangerous crew early on, he was destined for success. Yay! You might say, yo Tone, this album actually did well when it came out, so why is it a forgotten gem? But see, I feel like outside of the Bay, Spice One really doesn't get the respect he deserves as an MC. I remember even back then trying to put my boys onto the tape like, yo, you gotta listen to this, and they weren't trying to hear it. I had to reel them in by saying, yo, you know Method Man's on this album. Apparently I was the only Florida boy up on all the Bay releases. And believe me, that shit took work without the internet at your disposal. This album sealed the deal for me. Even as a youth, just looking at the cover, I knew it was something special. I mean, the opening song has gunshots and E-40 on it. You can't go wrong with that. This is murderer music right here. Murder. One characteristic and selling point I always appreciated about the 90s artists was the believability factor. And I truly believe Spice One is exactly who he says he is. Blow! I always loved the little reggae and Jamaican flavors in the verses. Two singles came out of this album's release. You had strap on the side. Rolling with my motherfucking strap on the side of me. Don't fuck with the East Bay G. Sing it. In face of a desperate man. The tale of an ex-con who just can't leave the streets alone. And we all know what that's a recipe for. Both songs had videos and they were both great. Blackjack handles most of the production on the album with Ant Banks, Battle Cat and DJ Slip of CM Dub sliding in a few funk slappers to create that deep murderous feel that the homie Spice was reaching for. No. Nailed it. The flow of the album and sequencing is very well done. The song transitions and content never feel out of place. You can feel the funk on this one. Covered in the blood of Spice One's enemies. You're dead. There's even a Pooh Man diss track to close things out. The guests on this album were very minimal, but three of them are legendary. Tupac, Shakur, Method Man, and Vallejo Zone, Sick Witty, E-40 all make appearances on America's Nightmare. As well as my man G-Nut from 187 Fact, who's not listed on the track list. Spice One is one of the best lyricists from the West Coast. Spice. He has punchlines, flow, delivery, 
and all of it shows on this album. He holds his own with three iconic, legendary MCs and crafts visuals that give you a window into the strife in his life at that time. He even harmonizes some good hooks in there, but ain't none of that shit soft. Uh, if you ever needed a soundtrack to murder your enemies too, this is it. There's quite a few standouts on this classic album. For me, besides going to my gat clapping anthem strap on the side, blocka banger. It's gotta be Don't You Run Away. Spice's crooning on this is phenomenal. Doing a mighty fine interpolation of the Barquets You Can't Run Away on the hook. It's so good, you don't even wanna run away from his nine. You just let him shoot you. Overall, I think this is one of the most important and influential albums ever released in West Coast gangster rap history. A lot of your favorites are fans of Spice One. Yeah. And when you look back on him, this is one of the first albums you should go to immediately. It helped lay the blueprint for a lot of gangster rap albums that followed. And Spice One deserves all the love he can get for putting out so many classics in his career. He's actually still pretty consistently active in music and in the Bay. But you should already know that, motherfucker. Get on it. So put your strap on the side. Start crossing off your enemies' names on your checklist. And throw on Spice One, America's Nightmare. Another forgotten gem that's most definitely worth your time. And if you're feeling what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all social media. And if you have any music that you think deserves a hell of a lot more shine, throw it down in the comments, yo. I'll definitely check that out. And don't forget to share these videos with any rap-loving motherfuckers in your life that you think might enjoy them. Once again, my name is Tony Madness. And come check me out next time when we run that back. Peace. I'm saying it ain't a game, ho. Better break through that dough before I change clothes. We all the same, no, my slang go. International, that airplane flow. Hit you like bang, bo. All on the wave, whoa. My name's Tone. Gomez, I'm Shang Tsung. Take so, so yes, I'm the one. Why they come from miles around the planet? Cause damn it, I ain't done. I'm playing, playing with the same gun. Understand the play, dumb.